Hey guys, Rashomon here. This is the fourth episode of the Rashcast podcast, and I wanted to continue from where I had left off last time. So, um, the last episode was basically me uh, telling one of my experiences that I had when I was younger with the paranormal. And I left off mentioning that there was another one, that I had another experience that I had with my brother. Um, something that we both experience at the same time together and something that, well, I mean, I can say that it wasn't just me imagining things or me hearing things or seeing things that we actually, you know, experienced something together. Mind you, it's not like it was something that lasted a long time or something that was very kind of like, it shouldn't take me at least 20 minutes to, uh, to, uh, to explain what happened, but okay, so here we go. Basically, what started off as a regular day, um, we were watching a movie with our cousins. Our cousins had come over, and we had recently rented The Ring for VHS, because at the time, that's uh, we were still using VHS. I think they still had a, they might have had it on DVD, but it was a lot cheaper to rent on VHS. So that's what we used. That's what we had it on. And that's what we did. We, um, we rented it uh our cousins were older they're older than me so you know i was our parents weren't home they had gone out for whatever reason and it was just me and my brother basically kind of just like just there just staying at the house by ourselves which at that time it wasn't like out of the norm you know some our parents would leave us and we would just be there i want to say i was probably like maybe like nine ten somewhere between nine and eleven years old that's how old I was. And my brother's more or less a little bit older than me. Like a year or two older than me. I, I, <laughs> sorry, I forget his birthday. Um, but yeah. And so we were watching the movie. And about like. Maybe like about halfway through the movie. Our cousins are like. Oh, it's getting really late. And the sun's going down. So uh, they had walked over to our place. So from their house. So they wanted to, you know, go back to their place. They would have to have walked quite a bit and they wanted to do it before it got dark and i'm guessing that they themselves also might have been a little bit scared you know just just maybe the tiniest little bit scared um because i mean the movie was pretty terrifying for us especially you know watching it at that age and stuff like that so they left and me and my brother continued watching it and we were watching it and almost towards the end of the um almost towards the end of the movie we get a phone call and as probably everyone that's seen the movie knows already you know the, one of the main things is to watch the movie the VHS tape or whatever of whatever it is that's going on in the VHS tape and then you get a phone call after you're done a phone call and basically someone tells you that you're going to die in 7 days so I answered the phone, and guess what I heard on the phone call? Exactly that. Someone whispering to me that I would die in seven days, right? But the thing is, like, it scared me for like half a second or two, because I was kind of like, what the fuck? We just watched the movie. Does that mean we're going to die? But, uh, I mean, I could tell that it was my cousin. And he also started laughing right afterwards. So I was just like, oh, this, this guy's just fucking with us. And he's like, oh, no, yeah, just, just, we're, we're calling just to mess with you. But, you know, we made it home. So you, that way you guys don't worry about whether or not we made it home. We're A-OK. We're good. And they're like, ah, oh, OK. Had a couple laughs, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So we continue watching the movie. Uh, we watched it for another, like, 15, 20 minutes. And then it finished. Then we were, like, scared. Like, holy shit. Scared. Fuck that. And, but I mean, that was it. We watched the movie. We started getting ready for bed because our parents still hadn't come back. Uh, I don't know if they had gone out or they had stayed somewhere else. I, I don't remember. But basically, it was just me and my brother. So we go around. I don't remember if we made ourselves something to eat or what we did. But it wasn't too, too long afterwards. I want to say maybe like half an hour or so. We were still awake. We were still going to be awake for a while, but I think we were going to move on to my brother's room. And I had mentioned it in the previous podcast that his room was right next to mine. So it's not like 
we were going anywhere like that far off. So we turned off everything and we started heading from the living room to his room. When, and I, I remember this, I remember this so vividly. When all of a sudden, the TV, the stereo uh, that we had there, uh, and the VCR, they all turned on at the same time. The TV was basically almost like full blast, playing static. The stereo radio thing, whatever, the stereo system that we had, all the same thing. It was full blast, playing like just static, right? Just just, just static. Like if you were listening to a radio station that didn't actually have anything playing, just static. And the VCR was going haywire. Um, usually when you rewind it or, or fast forward and those old older type of like VHS players and stuff like that, it would show you the numbers going up or the numbers going down depending on the length of the movie. And then depending on like... Uh, Plus, you know, if it's going forward, the numbers are going to go higher. Kind of like how much time is passing, I guess. Or how long the movie itself would be. And if it's going backwards, it's basically rewinding it to the beginning. Because, you know, back then, you had to rewind VHS if you wanted to watch it again from the beginning. Or, you know, it was kind of like courtesy. If you were doing it for the next person to watch. That way, they don't have to rewind it. Um, and so, we saw the numbers kind of like... I say numbers, but we saw kind of like letters numbers and uh, i don't want to say symbols but basically just kind of like anything that would appear on that vcr player like dots or kind of slashes or anything of that sort it was it was just going nuts like the v the vcr wasn't actually rewinding or fast forwarding it was just flashing a lot of different like like the little had a little screen in the front that was basically almost like not an lcd but those older type of like analog, I guess you could say almost kind of like, you know how like the clocks are, how they basically have the time and the screens necessarily aren't LCD. I think they're just anal analog. No, that's not right. Well, anyways, it's like it's lit up in the back screen and it shows the number. So that's what it was showing. It was showing a bunch of like numbers, a bunch of letters, a bunch of symbols and stuff. And it was just everything was really, really, really loud. It was all doing it like really crazy and stuff like that. And we were freaking out. We're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. We got to turn it off. So we move forward to turn it off because we didn't have a control for the stereo. We didn't have a control for the VCR. And I mean, the, we did have a control for the TV, but we didn't even get a chance to get to them, to the controls for the TV at least. Before everything just kind of poof, just turned off. Like not even because like when you're fast forwarding, for example, on the VHS, if you go forward, if you rewind, once you get to a certain point, it stops and it, it'll usually say like stop or something like that. And it'll show you where it left off. So if it's at the end of the movie, it might be like an hour and 30, two hours, whatever. And if it's at the beginning of the movie, it would be like zero, 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 zero. But it didn't. It just all of a sudden everything just turned off. But it wasn't like that the whole living room was off because, you know, the we were still the lights were on. They weren't flickering or anything like that. The only things that were affected was the stereo, the VCR and the TV. And at the same time, all of them turned on, did all that crazy noise, did all that whatever was going on. And then at the same time, it all just stopped and turned off. And... And that was it. Like, we tried turning everything on individually just to see if anything else would happen. But, I mean, everything started working as normal. The TV, we had it like... Because we had it in the connection for the VCR. So, it almost didn't make sense as to why it was showing, like, static to begin with. Because... I mean, when you connect like in a VCR to those old school TVs, it usually would show a blue screen when you turned it on and it would say kind of like VHR or it might show something or like the brand or I don't know. But uh, you you would connect it to those, you know, the yellow, the red, the white uh, connections in the background, the front of the TV, and it would show a blue screen to show you that it's like it's connected and it's ready to play. But we turn on the TV again, we turn on the VCR and it just went to that blue screen, you know, like like the static that was showing wasn't there 
we turned on the radio, the stereo. And, well, I mean, we had it connected to, plus to the VCR and to the TV, or one of those two. My brother had set it up. But basically, it was connected so that we had it kind of like a surround system, basically. Uh, I don't know if we had a lot of speakers or something, but we basically had it set up where there was like maybe one or two extra little small speakers so that way we could hear the TV better because the TV kind of, the volume wasn't that good. So we we would use the speakers for the most part. Um, but I mean, it wasn't playing anything. It wasn't playing any static. It was just, it was just quiet. We tried playing the movie again and it literally just continued from where we had left off in the credits because, I mean, we don't watch the whole credits. As kids, we don't really care too much about the credits and there usually wasn't anything at the very end of the movie, like an extra little scene or something like that. So we, so as the credits would hit, we would just stop it and we would leave it like that. And then like maybe the next day we would rewind it or this or that or whatever. But I mean, it was right at the credits. It hadn't moved from what it originally was. And... I mean, to this day, I, I have no explanation as to what would have caused all that. Because, like I said, we didn't have a control for the stereo uh, and for the VCR. It was all, you know, buttons that we would have to click because we had lost the control. Or I, I don't know, maybe we never had it to begin with. The only one we had a control to was to the TV. But the TV control wasn't like one of those that could control different systems at once. Or like if you turn on the TV, that it wouldn't turn everything else on. And it especially wouldn't do something like go bananas like it did with that VCR tape. Um, and like to this day, it's it's still, it creeps me out. It freaks me out. And I, I have no explanation for it. And I'll talk to my brother about it. And he still remembers it too. And I've asked him because, you know, we've, we've grown. We're older. We've... Um, as we've gotten older, we've come to kind of like get closer to each other, I guess you could say. So with certain things, we'll tell each other if it was us playing a joke or if it was us being mean or this or that. But I mean, he experienced just as much weird, crazy stuff as I did as a kid. I'm pretty sure he has his own stories, too. But that one time he remembers it vividly, too. And he's like, that wasn't me. I wasn't messing with you. I wasn't. And there was no way I could have done it because I didn't have a control for the VCR, for the stereo and stuff like that. You know, like even, even just the TV, even if you had just turned on the TV, it wouldn't have shown anything. It wouldn't have like, I don't know. And and yeah, that was, so that was pretty creepy. To me, that was pretty freaking creepy. And it's still creepy. It's still unexplainable. And I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know. Nothing else came out of it when we, we returned the movie and that was it. We never experienced that with any other movie. And it was one of those VCR players that we had for like years. Like like maybe in that year it was like two, three years old. But we had that for like five, six years and just used the hell out of it with VCRs and stuff like that. Never had a problem like that. Never had that happen again. The one and only time it happened and we were both there to experience it together. And still... Like, it's still there in my memory. Like, I still remember it. I still... No, I don't forget about it, you know? And I mean, there's some other experiences I've had, too. It wasn't just these two experiences. Maybe there's, like, one or two more experiences that I could probably share about. But uh, I think I've talked a little too much for for this one instance. Uh, I mentioned I wasn't going to take 20 minutes, but here we are at the 14-minute mark. And uh, <laughs> I'll... Uh, I'll leave that ex uh, the, another experience for a different episode. You know, I'll try to keep these short. That way they're not too long for people that are listening to them or hearing them or anything like that. And it won't be too kind of like you have to go out of your way to watch or hear something that's like, you know, in case you don't find it interesting. But in case you do find it interesting, plus, there you go. So, so yeah. Um, thank you for joining me again in another episode of the Rashcast. And you have any comments concerns if you have any advice that you'd like to give me or if you'd like to share your own paranormal experiences or anything else just let me know and you know i'd, I'd, I'd love to hear about it you know it, it's it's interesting it's morbid curiosity more than anything else but 
uh, to me it's I, I, I find it very interesting especially when other people have experienced their own things you know so so yeah thank you